In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today, there is a beautiful miracle where Jesus raised up a young man from the dead who was the only child of his mother, who is a widow. And the thing that I want to focus on today is why he did it. The Bible says because he looked at her and he had compassion on her. He had compassion on her. He had compassion on her because of her, her situation, situ very difficult situation. He looked at her, he had compassion, he raised her son from the dead. The two strange things in this miracle, number one, that she never asked for a miracle. She didn't ask him. She didn't beg him. She didn't run after him for her son to be healed or raised. That didn't even come to her mind. She was just sorrowful. They were going in a procession outside of the city to bury the person. And Jesus was coming into the city. And these two processions intersected together. And Jesus looked at this woman and, and, and did this amazing, wonderful miracle. The second strange thing, or not strange thing, Jesus felt her pain. Jesus felt her pain, what she's going through. He knew she's a widow. She doesn't have any income. She doesn't have any support. She has no one in life but her son, and her son just died. And, and, and he felt that there is there is something there that needs a lot of compassion. The question here, it's good for this woman. She's lucky that Jesus was coming during the, the funeral of her son. But the question here, why? Why this woman in particular? Why not? I'm sure there's a lot of people who lost their children during the time of Jesus. But he didn't raise every and each one of them. Why particularly this woman? I'm sure there are children who cried to God and said, you know, our father just passed away and, you know, we want him. Why didn't God have compassion on these children? And why doesn't he have compassion when some people cry to him for help? Why it doesn't seem... The question here, does really, is God really compassionate or not? Because if, you know, if God is compassionate, then maybe he has partiality. But God does have partiality. He deals with us all the same. So why is this particular woman, is God moody? And, you know, his mood was good that day and the funeral happened and God decided to help her? Absolutely not. The Bible says that God is the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow. So what is the deal here? What is the deal? Is God compassionate or not? And what the deal of God's compassion? Because I want to rely on that. I want to trust that. I want to live by that. Three things here that we want to focus on. Number one, that God is a compassionate God, whether I believe in it or not, and we're going to discuss that. Number two, it was a time for compassion for this woman, for this widow. It was time for her, there is a time for compassion, and that was her time. And the third point that, in that particular case, that was the best way for God to show his compassion to this woman. The best way to show compassion in God's eyes was to raise her son. So let's talk about the first one that our God is a compassionate God. You better believe that. How do we know? Read throughout the Bible. First thing is, when, when, when the Israelites were in Egypt and they were under a lot of oppression by the Egyptians, what happened? God said, God looked at the, at the oppression of his people. He had compassion on them. And that's why he sent Moses. And he got them out of Egypt with amazing miracles with seven plagues, with splitting the Red Sea, no, nothing, no matter what, God will have compassion on people, on his children, he will take care of them. 
and he will take care of his children in Egypt today, no matter what kind of oppressions they are going through. In the book of Judges, you leave the, the time of Moses, book of Judges, people were horrible. They sin against God, they worship idols, they get into real big mess and big trouble. What do they do? They cry to God, please God, last time, please forgive us. Forgive us just, just last, this last time. This is the last time we're going to do it. So God sent a savior, a judge, one of the judges of Israel. He helps them. He saves them. Once they're, they at rest, what do they do? They sin against God again. Okay, you said last time was the last time. You said, no, 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 no. This is really, really, really last time. And then they cry a little bit to God. God hears them. God sends the judge. He saves them. And it keeps repeating over and over and over and over. He is so compassionate. He looks at the tear of someone and his heart melts. He's a compassionate God. He's a compassionate God. That's why Jonah was frustrated at God's compassion. God told Jonah, go to Nineveh. These people are horrible. This is the, 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 the worst city in the whole world. I'm going to destroy it in, in a severe way. So go let them know that I'm going to destroy the city in 40 days. The worst people in the whole world. So they cried. They fasted. They said, God, we repent. What does God do? He forgives them. And he doesn't burn the city, as he said. So Jonah gets frustrated. You said you're going to burn the city in 40 days, and that's the message I gave them. I knew that you're a compassionate God. I knew you were going to do that. You disappointed me. God's compassion is beyond imagination to cause frustration to people. When God blesses your enemy, you're frustrated. You know why? Because God is showing him compassion. Because he's a compassionate God. All what it takes, little cry to him. That's why David knew that. And he said, the broken and contrite heart you will not despise. I know you. Once you see a broken heart, I know that your heart melts. I know. The psalmist says here, but you, O Lord, are a God of compassion. What does it say? A God of compassion? Can you wake up just for one minute and then go back? <laughs> Sorry, put you to sleep. You are a good, full of compassion. Full of compassion. Okay, that's our God. If you want to know his person, if you want to know his characteristic, our God is actually full of compassion, gracious, long-suffering, abundant in mercy and truth. Jesus had compassion. The Bible says that Jesus on earth, he had compassion on the multitudes because they were like sheep without a shepherd. He had compassion on them. Okay, they needed a, a savior, so that's why he had a compassion. People were hungry, and Jesus had compassion. People were with him. They didn't eat for a while, and Jesus had compassion on the multitudes. He said, you know, give them something to eat. Who cares about eating? You're a preacher. You preach them, let them go. Everyone was, is going to eat on his own. He said, no, I have, I have compassion on the people. They're hungry. God feels even that hunger in the heart of his people. That's why he performed the, the, the miracle of five loaves and two fish over and over. On Monday's uh, prayer or praise, the midnight praises, the Otukeya, we say a wonderful verse we say he uh, uh, for god that he is overcome by his compassion he is overcome do you know that anyone can overcome god yes anyone can overcome god because he has a weakness he's compassionate sorry to say that god doesn't have any weakness but you know if this would to be said he is overcome by his compassion. He was very compassionate. That's why he came. And that's why he was incarnate. And that's why he decided the salvation. If you know that, 
then you know how to reach the heart of God. He's a compassionate God. No doubt about that. Then the question is, if God is so compassionate and he is overcome by his compassion, why at certain situations I don't feel that? And I don't see the compassion of God. I see sometimes that he's, you know, he's maybe harsh. Or maybe he's, he doesn't feel anything or he doesn't feel what I go through, which is absolutely not true. And I'll, and I'll show you now how God really feels everything we go through. But the second point that we said about the, this woman, and it's the same for us, for this woman, it was time for compassion for her. It was a time for compassion. There is a time for compassion, and there is a time for discipline. There is time to sow, and there is time to reap. There is time for everything under heaven. Okay? So, not that God sometimes is compassionate and sometimes is not. God is compassionate all the time. But there is a time to show compassion. There is a particular time. He knows what is this time and he acts on this perfect time. And his time is always perfect and he never misses it even once. But when it is time for compassion, he is absolutely there. Look at this verse. It says to God, you will arise and have compassion on Zion. What is Zion? Zion back then, Jerusalem. Now it's the church, it's me and you. You will have compassion on Zion. Why? For it is time to show favor to her. Time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come. At the perfect time that she needs to see this compassion and to feel it, he's going to shower her with this compassion. Make no mistake about it. But he knows the time, and he will never miss the time. He knows exactly what's going on. Even when he wounds, even when he disciplines, he disciplines with compassion. Look at this verse. It says, for he wounds, but he also binds up. He injures, but his hands also heal. Can you injure and heal at the same time? Yes. You know who does that all the time? The surgeon. Surgeon, first thing he does, he injures. He cuts. In order to destroy? No, in order to heal. One hand he cuts, and the other hand he heals. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's a compassionate God. And he's never too much. Sometimes we feel, yeah, God is, it's not time. For, he will show compassion, but it's too late. Or it's already too much. That's what I think and what, what you think. But he knows what is the time and when is the time to show compassion. But he's always compassionate. <clears throat> He measures exactly what we go through. It says here in 1 Corinthians, No temptation has overtaken you except such is common to man. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation, with the trial, with the problem, will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. That you may be able to bear it. He will never send you anything that is too much. And when it's getting too much, he will have compassion. Not he will have compassion. He always have compassion. But he will show compassion at the right time and at the perfect moment. We need to trust that God, that's how God deals with me. 